Oh, my effing words I cannot say. Eric Adams, New York City is handcuffed by sanctuary city laws. So he's basically saying, look, we are a proud city. We are a city of immigrants. Okay, but this is where he ends the conversation. Why can't Eric Adams just say, Look, we are a city of immigrants, but we are a city of legal immigration. Legal, not illegal. He keeps calling them migrants, migrants, migrants. They are not migrants. They are not just migrants. They are illegal migrants who broke the law, did not follow the rule, decided to jump the line and come to New York City illegally without going through the proper channels of applying for citizenship in their country of origin and wait in line just like everybody else had done. Why can't he say that? We are a city of legal immigrants. Legal immigration. We open our pocketbooks to legal immigrants. Legal immigration. Not illegal. Why can't he just say that? What is he so afraid of? Our hearts are endless, but our resources are not, he said. It's not like New York is not saying we are not a city of immigrants. Currently, we are a city of illegal immigrants. Why can't he just say that? We are. We have a rich history of immigrants. Legal immigrants. Not illegal. But we can't take the globe, global problem and it's becoming our problem. This is unfair to New Yorkers and is unfair to migrants. What? What is unfair to migrants? They are illegals. They broke the law to get here. It's unfair to us, not them. They broke the law. They're interlopers. The Adams administration refused to implement the law is unacceptable. The, the Adams administration's refusal to implement the law is unacceptable and the city must take immediate action to ensure that the thousands of New Yorkers who are experiencing or are on the brink of homelessness and who are now eligible for city FHEPS can secure safe, long-term, and affordable housing, legal aid attorney Robert Desire said, whatever the hell his name is. In short, Adams feels ha hamstrung by laws and policies around addressing the migrant situation. So essentially, Eric Adams is putting caps in how long the illegals can stay in the system, in the shelter system, which is being paid for by the taxpayers of New York City. He said, look, 30 days, 60 days, you know, you got to go after a certain period of time. You got to fend for yourself. You got to get your own housing. We cannot afford to keep supporting you and paying for your way. But the opposition says, no, you cannot throw them out. No, you have to keep supporting them. Well, how long do you keep supporting the illegals? They don't deserve to be here. They don't belong here. They broke the laws. They came here illegally. They didn't go through the proper channels, but yet we're forced to take care of lawbreakers. Go figure. And there is a push in New York City to allow the illegals, the alleged migrants, the asylum seekers to stay indefinitely in the shelter system. You believe this? Can you imagine? They're pushing hard to make it permanent for the illegals, the migrants, call them whatever the hell you want, to be in the shelter system permanently. Unbelievable. As more migrants arrive, New Jersey churches and religious charities step up to help. Fine, then let them live in your church then. Open up, open up your Catholic church. Set up a thousand bed facility in your Catholic Church. Go ahead. It's getting really stupid. 
Look at this. Democrats pass bill to provide health insurance to illegal immigrants. They want to give them health insurance. They want to give them Medicaid. They want to give them food stamps, SNAP, Section 8. They want to give them everything. Everything that you as an American citizen, you probably may or may not qualify for, which is inconsequential to the conversation, but they want to give the goodies to the illegals who broke the law to come to America. Unbelievable. 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 But if you, as a legal American citizen, American-born natural citizen, decided to apply for social benefits, you have to jump through hoops, you have to prove that you deserve and you are worthy of these programs, you have to show income statement, you have to jump through hoops, and in many cases, you don't even qualify. They'll tell you, sorry bud, you don't qualify because you make too much money. But they want to give the illegals. The same benefits that you may or may not qualify for, depending on your income. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, my friends. And nobody's doing a damn thing about it. Nobody. Nobody. And I lived in New York for a while. I know for a fact there are American citizens, American-born New York citizens, living homeless on the streets of New York. And prior to the uh, um, asylum seeker crisis, the migrant crisis, nobody gave a goddamn fuck about those people. But now they're going to throw everything. They're going to give the migrants, the illegals, everything. But prior to the illegal fiasco, not a goddamn thing was done to help get the American citizen, American-born New York citizen off the streets. Not a goddamn thing was done. And I know this for a fact because I lived in New York City. I've seen the homeless bums living in the streets of New York, living in the subways, and not a goddamn thing was done to get them off the streets. You can't even talk about rounding up the homeless and putting them in, in mental hospitals and giving them treatment. You have Thousands of mentally ill, unstable, homeless New Yorkers living on the streets of New York City, but you cannot do a goddamn thing to help them. You can't even pass legislation to round them up and put them in a mental institution and give them the proper treatment that they may or may not need. You cannot do anything. If Eric Adams said, I want to round up all the mentally ill, homeless American citizens from the streets of New York City, I want to focus on the American citizens. I want to round them up. I'm going to clean them up. I want to put them in a mental institution. I want to give them treatment if they need it. He would be stopped. You cannot do a goddamn thing for the American citizens. But the ho but the illegals, the migrants, the asylum seekers? Oh, we'll give them everything. We'll give them a hospital bed. Oh, no problem. But the American-born citizen living in the streets of New York City, he gets, a, he gets shit. And this is the country that you are living in. This is your America. The point battle over Mayor Eric Adams' control of New York City schools and how, I don't know what the hell this is, but this is the thing. They are giving them everything. Everything that you have worked hard for that you may not even qualify. They'll tell you you don't even qualify. Facing community pushback, New York City Mayor reverses plan to house migrants in luxury buildings. But, but guess what? He can say whatever the hell he wants. He would be shut down. The city council will, will strike him down. They'll strike down his proposals. So he's forced, the New Yorkers are forced to support and support and support the illegals. This is unbelievable, my friends. This is, this is America. This is your country. Where you get bupkis, but the migrants, the illegals, the asylum seekers, they get everything. What the hell is the point of citizenship 
when the illegals who are not citizens, who are non-citizens, who don't even have a green card, a work permit, authorization cards, can get benefits, can get, and is, is eligible for social programs, social welfare benefits, that you as a New York, as an American citizen, you may, may or may not get. You, as an American citizen, you have to jump through hoops, but they don't. It's a two-tiered system in America. The migrants, the illegals, the lawbreakers are the loyalty. They're loyalty, and you are not. And nobody is standing up, nobody's protesting, nobody's taken to the streets. When a cop shoots a suspect, you have thousands of people marching in the streets. No peace, no justice, or whatever the hell they do. You have people protesting, you know, the Middle East crisis. But nobody's protesting this. It's my money. I want to spend it the way I effing want. And you can't do anything. The illegals, the lawbreakers, they are the new loyalty class. They are royalty, and you are not. You are bupkis. California wants to give welfare benefits to illegals. To illegals. The taxpayers have been paid into the system their whole entire lives. They have to jump through hoops to, in order to qualify for Medi-Cal. They're going to give illegals everything. They're going to give them everything before you. Unbelievable. I know this video is not going to get a lot of views. I know I'm being shadow banned. I know my videos and my commentary are being hidden. I go back and I check my video and I get like one or two views, one or two views on a video like this. You are a second class citizen in your own country. They are taking your country away from you. They're taking your country away from you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, there's, and there is not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Hardly anybody's willing to like protest. Hey, wait a minute. I don't like this. It's not fair. Why do I have to jump through hoops just to get some fucking food stamps? Whereas they, they don't have to jump through hoops. They don't have to prove anything. They can just show up and you give them the red carpet treatment. This is your country, folks. You, this is your country. I predict this, 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 this migrant crisis that New York City is dealing with. I predict if this continues and there are no caps, there are no limits. And no concerted effort put in place to curtail the migration. If nothing is done at this rate of change, New York City will go bankrupt. Just like it almost had done in the 70s. So your, your um, unfunded liabilities, your pension plan, those are going to be cut. Those are going to be reduced. Because there's no budget put in place, they're going to tap into that eventually, I know what some people have said, oh no, those, those unfunded liabilities, those are securitized, they're guaranteed, not, a, well, hey, you can think whatever you want, but the, at some point, it, it's, New York City is going to collapse, it's going to collapse, it's going to, it's going to go bankrupt, because this migrant sanctuary city crisis nonsense, is already out in the ethers. Everybody knows New York City is a sanctuary city. And they're not and the city's not doing anything. They're not making a concerted effort to discourage migrants from coming. It's business as usual. And at this state of at this rate of change, like I'm saying, New York City is gonna go bankrupt. So there goes your your unfunded liabilities, there goes your pension fund, there goes your um all, everything you worked hard for. It's gonna be it's gonna be used up. But yet, you know, you're like living in La La Land. 
Everything you worked for is going to the migrants, the illegals, and you get bupkis.